southwest and northeast, traveling five miles a second. Against the limb of the Earth, the International Space Station is uh, currently uh, passing the uh, region late tonight into the overnight hours of Friday. And uh, Helene currently moving to the north-northeast at about 14 miles an hour, expected to make landfall along Florida's... Uh, we now have a, a record of 24 years uh, of satellite uh, observations, which are uh, extremely valuable. Uh, and they show that uh, there's an um, uh, increase in how uh, much uh, energy we, we get uh, into the Earth system compared to how much is going out of the Earth system. Uh, and part of that is, um, yeah, it's, it's split into what we call shortwave and longwave radiation. So shortwave radiation is what we get from the sun and part of that is reflected back to, to space. Uh, and then long wave radiation is, is what is emitted from the, the Earth system. Um, and what is particularly interesting uh, in this uh, time series from, from the satellites is that the short wave part, the solar absorption part, is um, showing a, a, a quite a substantial increase over time, so, so we have the satellite record from 2001 approximately, uh, and it has been increasing quite a lot. And uh, what we find also in, in this uh, paper is that uh, it's increasing uh, more in the Northern Hemisphere than the Southern Hemisphere. So by increasing uh, absorbed solar radiation, that means a darkening uh, of the Earth. So it means that Earth is getting darker and the Northern Hemisphere is getting darker um, faster than the Southern Hemisphere. Thing is toward you on cover two and for just... So the more sunlight we absorb, uh, the, the, the darker it gets, sort of. So it's a bit like having a, a black t-shirt on uh, on a summer day. You get uh, warmer because you absorb uh, more sunlight because it's a dark t-shirt. If you have a white t-shirt, more of the sunlight is uh, reflected away. So, so then it's, uh, it's lighter, it's less, less dark. So it's a bit the same. So what we see now is that, I don't know, the <laughs> t-shirt of the Earth is, uh, is getting a bit darker. So it means that we, we absorb more of this uh, sunlight. And that means that the uh, climate system is getting, uh, is heating up. size according to the National Hurricane Center. As a result, uh, anticipated storm surge, wind and rainfall impact will extend far away from its center, which is about 400 So uh, the cause of, uh, first of all, the, the increase in, in uh, or the darkening, uh, the global darkening of the Earth, uh, that is to a large degree caused by changes in clouds. And there's yeah quite some debate, well, not debate, but uh, papers going back and forth on, on what's causing that. Uh, it could be, there's especially two, two major things that could lead to these cloud changes. One is um, aerosol pollution, 
because until um, recently, or uh, uh, at least uh, the, the last couple of decades, uh, there has been a major cleanup of uh, aerosol pollution. So aerosols are these tiny particles that uh, often, uh, many of them reflect sunlight, so they lead to a cooling. And when you remove these reflecting particles, that means that more of the sunlight is, is absorbed. Uh, but and they do not only reflect sunlight, but they also affect the clouds. So uh, when you have aerosol pollution, uh, it makes the clouds brighter, which leads to a cooling. And again, when you clean up the aerosols, then um, uh, the clouds also get get darker, and and that's uh, that's a major effect.